while. It's been a while. Um, I made a video. I've been very, very busy. You see me? Mm -hmm. Today, my pastor here, Prophet George, wants to ask me a question. And I say this question is also another very and highly important question that I have to give answers to my, 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 my people. So, Prophet, I'm ready. What is the question? Yeah. The question is about anointing oil. Anointing what? Oil. Yes. <laughs> I like, I, I like your, your topic. Anointing what? Oil. oil. Hey, anointing oil. Hmm. Before that, we give praise and thanks to Almighty God for this evening. Um, send me to Isaiah 61, verse 1. Isaiah 61, verse 1. Yes. The Bible says, uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon who? Me. me. Uh, this evening, you. Because, Let's go. Because the Lord has anointed me. Ah, because the Lord God has anointed who? Me. To bring what? Good news. <laughs> Importance of what? Anointing oil. You get me? You see, always I've been telling you that for me, I am there to give liberation. Not just liberation like that, too. I have a power from the Almighty God through the anointing. You can never work as a strong man of God without the anointing. Anointing also comes from the oil. So he said, The Lord God has anointed who? Me. Me to, do, to do what? Uh -huh. to, bring good news. to bring what? Good news. Good news. To the suffering and to those who are suffering and afflicted, and afflicted people. You get me? So if you are suffering, if you have problems today, <laughs> spiritual head, I am here. Mm -hmm. Don't let we should not waste time. Send me to um, how do you call it? Luke four eighteen. Luke four eighteen. Yes, I am speaking on the spiritual and physical importance of anointing oil. There are certain basic things as a Christian you need in your life for you to succeed. Are you there? Yeah. Let's go. Luke chapter four verse eighteen. Uh -huh. The Bible says. Uh huh. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Ah! <laughs> the pastors who have been talking nonsense, saying the Old Testament is not in existence because Jesus has come. I quoted from the, from the Old Testament. Yes. If you don't understand, I am sending you to the Old. A repetition of the word of God. He said what? Uh -huh. The spirit of the Lord the is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon what? Me. Uh -huh. he, has, he has appointed me to preach good news. That is all. That, yes, that is the reason why I am here. The spirit of the Almighty God is upon me, as He has appointed in Luke and anointed me to preach the good news to, to the bring people. the good news to. So today, be happy. I am bringing the good news to you. Yeah. You get it? A very good news to what you for liberation those who are suffering financially, your marriage aspect, hey, your work, your life itself, spiritually and physically. I am bringing a good news. I was saying there are certain basic things as a Christian you need. One, you need incense. You know the last time I quoted and I, I taught about incense. Yeah. You can never move on without incense. successfully till you die without incense. Forget it. Two, anointing oil. Anointing oil. Hmm, forget it. Without the anointing oil, you can never move on. Huh? You move on, but no matter what, you come down. Because I always tell people, we wrestle not against flesh and what? Blood. Yes. You know not waste time. Now, let's send me to Exodus 29. Verse 7. Exodus 29. Yeah, anointing oil. <laughs> you are joking. You are worshipping God. You are living this life without anointing oil. Brother, stop. Mm -hmm. Exodus 29, verse 7. Yes. The Bible says, uh -huh. then take the anointing oil. Then take what? The anointing Did oil. Did he say take, take the kerosene? No. Take the petrol? No. Take the Bible? No. Did he say do fasting? No. He said, take what? The anointing oil. Let's go. Uh -huh. And pour it upon his head. Abba, and pour it on upon who? His head. See, there are so many Christians who are suffering today who need anointing oil just to be poured, raised and poured on their head so that their problems will be taken away. You get me? There are certain things we don't pray. There are times or problems we pray. Some we do fasting. I will even teach the fasting. But this one, he says, Pour the anointing oil on his what? Head. On his head. For those who are hot, afflicted. You get me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Next, mm -hmm. dress his son in his robe. Forget it. Send me to James 5 verse 14. James 5 Brother, 14. sister, this life we are living is not a joke. You can never make it successfully without certain basic things. 
I've told you they are secret, but me, I've taken the pain. You see, the time to come and reveal those secrets which have been hidden from you so that you can get liberation and freedom and happiness in the worship of what? God. Incense, I've told you. Anointing oil. Ha, today, hmm, let's go. James 5, 14. What did he say there? James 5, verse 14. Uh -huh. The Bible says, uh -huh. Is anyone sick? Abba, is anyone what? Sick. Uh -huh. He should call for the elder of the church and uh -huh. he should pray over him. Okay. And pour a little oil upon him. <laughs> no. Anyone who is sick spiritually or physical, let me tell you, this book, the Bible, is a spiritual book given to man in his physical world. For, you get it? So if anyone is sick spiritually or even physically, call the elders of the church. Let them pray for him and add what? Little oil upon him. You don't even need a full oil, just a little oil on the person. So there are so many problems. We don't counter them with prayers. You get it? There are some you counter them with prayers and what? Oil. Here he said, let the elders raise their hand with the oil. Pour little on the person's oil. Ah, so why are pastors giving you fasting? Seven days, 14, 21. People are suffering. Spiritually, you see physically, when you, you bath, you use cream on your body. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't the cream have um, oil in it? Yes. When you use cream on the body, what happens? Your body becomes smooth. Yes. How much your face, how much more your physical, your spiritual um, spirit or so? We have we always feed the body. You see, we eat, we drink water, we bath our body, but we refuse to smell oil on your heart, your spirit. You get it? We don't feed our spirit. You feed your spirit with the word of God, the right ones, yes. so that you become strong. That is why he say, when Satan rebukes, try to rebuke you, you rebuke him with the word of God. You feed your spirit. Now you bath your spirit. That is why uh, Hebrews 9, 9, he says, if anyone suffers, he should give gifts and, and do different kind of spiritual baths. You have to, the way you bath your body, that is the way you have to bath your spirit. The way you use pomade, perfume on your body, this is the same way you have to use the oil on your spirit. So that, see, the reason why promise and faith disappointment, which is are able to Get with the Christians is that our spirit are dry. You see, when you don't smell your body, it becomes dry and rough. Yes, so you can never receive something good. But when you smell oil on your spirit, it enters the body to the spirit. You receive good things. Now, Pastor, send me to Mark 16, Mark 6 13. Today I will not speak much. I want to tell you the number, the number of verses in the Bible concerning anointing oil. People are moving from churches to churches, pastors to pastors. Prefer to pass it, but still to all know our way. People go and see mountains. People are at mountains. What are you doing at mountains there? The solution is in your house. Uh -huh. Mark 16 13. What is it telling me? Mark 16 verse 13. Let's go. The Bible says, uh -huh. and they cast out many demons. Okay. And held many sick people, uh -huh. anointing them with olive oil. Ha, ah, you are joking. You say you are a pastor. You are casting out demons with that anointing oil. You are joking. Demons are spirits. They are stronger what? Spirits. You get me? We who have spiritual eyes, you can see them. You talk to them. You see? You fight with them. You, and you destroy them. Do you know we burn spirits? There's a spirit called incubus and succubus. These are the two spirits which are responsible for spiritual marriage. Brother, there is a way we can use the Bible verses. And certain leaves. You call some leaves wagashi. Wagashi. Yes. The wagashi. But what is the English name? I've forgotten. I will show you. Yes, we do some writings on it. Then we, 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 we soak it for three days and the person will burn. That spiritual marriage. It will run away. The spirit will burn like burning fire. You get me? Now, you say when you are casting demons, you have to add what? Anointing what? There are so many evil spirits who have married Christians. You get me? So many of them. So, suffering, tribulation, hardships. Without the anointing, you are useless. You run a thousand years. You see, poverty. Anointing all you have to do everything for you. Let send me to Hebrews 1 verse 9. Hebrews 1 verse 9. Yes. How to enlighten Christians. We've been in the dark for many ages. Suffering. Your grandfather was suffering. Your father was. You too, you are also suffering. When you don't break that barrier, you also suffer the same. But I have come to liberate you. Because the spirit of the Lord has anointed me. I like that message, Rolf. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 1, verse 9. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, mm -hmm. You have right and hate wrong. 
Mm -hmm. So God even, so God, mm -hmm. even your God, yes, has poured out more blindness mm -hmm. upon you mm -hmm. than on any else. Okay. God also called him mm -hmm. Lord when he said, Lord, mm -hmm. in the beginning. That verse is even long. You send me to. Hmm, I want to open the eyes of Christians. Look at this secret here. Hebrews, um, send me to root, root, three verse thirteen to fourteen. Brother, today, hmm, I will show Christians secrets in the Bible. Sure, I'm coming to show Christians where an in-law told her own daughter by criminal means. Someone will say. To go and sleep with a rich man for her to get married. And I will show you the importance of anointing oil or perfumes in the Bible. Hmm, root. Here. Yeah. Father, mother, brother, sister, don't joke with anointing oil. This one, never joke. You can never move on. There are so many problems. If you were to be using this kind of anointing oil, you wouldn't have been suffering by now. Do you get me? Yes, God told Moses to make a holy incense. The same God told Moses to make a holy anointing oil. Do you get me? Yeah. To use from generation to what? Generation. There are certain things which are sacred to the Almighty God. And He has ushered us to be using them. But our leaders, our pastors have, have always been saying, Do you get me? They've hidden all this from us and we are suffering. Do you get me? Ask for me, I will reveal all. Hebrews 3 verse 3. What is there? Root. Sorry, root. 3, 1. Going. Uh huh. There's a story there I want to give people. Yeah. Verse 3. Or oh, Ruby's 3. Yes. Uh huh. Root. Let's go fast. Ruth chapter 3, verse 1. Uh huh. Two. You go, you go, you go. You start reading. The Bible says. Uh huh. One day. One day. Naomi, Naomi said to Ruth, said to Ruth, my dear, my dear is, daughter, isn't it time mm -hmm. that I try to find a husband for you? Yes, this is a, a, a good in-law. Let me come. This woman, that is the in-law of Naomi, the, the Ruth married this woman's sons. They all died. You see? Now, that is why I, I was doing a certain uh, program on the platform, WhatsApp platform, concerning your star, your destiny. Every human being has to know his number, his color, his day. You get me? The kind of partner you are supposed to marry, you have to get a strong spiritual man to teach you that this man or this woman you are going to marry is not um, the right person for you. This is what happened in the time of Ruth. You see, they have a curse in their family, a problem in their family. The men, when they marry, they die. They marry, they die. So Naomi had that kind of um, this thing, setbacks or barrier or curse in their family. So the woman was worried. She didn't have the power to break it. So when she married um, the, 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 the sons, they all died. The woman said, ah, my daughter, when am I going to give birth again for you to have sons and marry? This is what I will do. Let's go. What did he say? He said, he said I will try to find a husband for you. Very good. I will try to find a husband. It's like me trying to find freedom and liberation for who? For you. Let's go. Uh -huh. And get you Applied marriage again. Okay. The man I am thinking of is Boaz. Yes. The man the woman is thinking of is a rich man called who? Boaz. Boaz. Uh -huh. He has been so kind to us. Good. And is a close relative. Uh -huh. I happen to know that he will be winnowing barely tonight out on the direction floor. Okay, let's go. How do what I tell you and put on some perfume and that is where I want. What what number is that? Three. Three. What did he say? Now do what I tell now you. do what I tell you. Uh huh. Let's go. Bath and put on some perfume. Bath and put on some what? Perfume. Bath and put on some what? Perfume. When you read another version, you say bath and put on oil. See, there are types of oil. This woman is a, is a very wise woman. They are Israel. Israel did no spiritual work. Both men and women. Now, there is a certain type of oil or perfume. When you are a woman and you use it on your body, hey, only rich men you will, attract, will be attracted to you. So the woman knew that secret. So he told my, the, 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 the in-law that, my daughter, listen to what I am telling you. 
Now go and bath and put this kind of perfume, favor perfume or favor oil. Do I, do, I, do I understand? It is made from the herbs. Now, that kind of perfume, when you're a woman and you use it on you, hey, the richest man, when he sees his spots or he sees you, bang, the mind will change. You tell him, Master, I want one billion, you give it to him. That is what women need. That is what Esther, Esther, you, you, you come to Esther. Share. Sure. I'm not seeing why I'm perfumes. You are joking. Let's go. He said, bath and put on. Perfume. Yes, it was not a physical, a spiritual. Remember, this is a spiritual book. Let's go. Perfume. Mm -hmm. And some nice clothes and go on uh, down uh -huh. to the trash, trashing floor. Okay. But don't let him see you until he has finished his supper. You see, Christians have to have secrets. Mm -hmm. He said, don't let the man see you. Before. Go to the man's bedroom. Sneak and enter his bedroom. Once you put this perfume on you, no. don't let him see. When the man finishes, she's eating in the evening and he's going to sleep. Continue. See some sticky twitches there. Let's go. Notice where, notice where mm -hmm. he lies down to sleep. Look at where the rich man lies down to sleep. Then go and lift the cover mm -hmm. of his feet and lie down there. You see? <laughs> Pastor, are you surprised? Yeah. And he not telling the daughter that I will see, he said, I will make you get a rich man. And he had what he was standing on. You understand? In a local that you say, so only Freddy is about to a bobo. If the blind man says you will throw a stone at you, then that means he has his foot or leg on something. The woman was a spiritual woman. He knew what he can use to attract or get the rich man. So he said, My daughter, listen to this. Bath. Spiritual bath, that is it. Put on perfume, spiritual perfumes of or oil. Sneak into the man's room. When the man has finished eating and he goes to sleep, go and remove his what bless it. Go and lie by him. See, Christians, that is why we suffer. People will say that the woman is a bad woman. He's, a, he's teaching the daughter prostitution. Sure, you think we re, 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 his life is easy. Brother, you have to be strong in this way. That is why the wealthy people, they are always rich. They take risk. You get me? Sure. You tell someone, you say, oh, but mama, this what I'm being is no good. The man is not my husband. So why should I force myself? You don't force them to be there. 50 years, you will not marry. That is where sometimes a rich man riding in his car, driving his car, we see a young lady. The man is married, though. You tell you, sweetie, come. She comes. I like you. I love you. I want to take care of you. Take care of your, ma your poor mother, your poor father. Take care of your education. You say, oh, but are you not married? You say, yes, I am married. You say, well, as for me, I don't like a man. We are foolish here. Yes, let me tell you. You or your father does not have money. Your mother does not have money. Your so-called boyfriend too does not have two CD to give you. To even buy Android phone. You've gotten luck. That was the luck Esther had. Esther was a Jew. She was not qualified to be among the beauty pageant. But she hid it. Christians, you have to have a secret. And be wise. You can never move with God when you are not wise. Don't tell the rich man. And we even told you a man cannot marry two or three. Our own father, father of all nations, Abraham married two. His great grandson, Jacob, he married Leah and who? Rahel. What are you talking about? David, how many times? Share. Mm -hmm. You, the king, the king that, um, the king Hazaros, yeah. who even married Esther now. If you go and read Esther too, you will marvel. See, the king has about 200 women. Every day, she, the king sleeps with one woman. And when he sleeps with you, the king, the king gives you, you no. Know? And the king will not sleep with you even again. Sure, when you get rich people, move to them, cling to them, bath perfumes, bath anointing oil to break that promise and faith. You grab, you say you have a boyfriend, he's not rich, old, but your boyfriend cannot even give you 10 CD, 20 CD. One million po he can give you. Christians, be wise. Be wise and stop blaspheming. Say holy, holy. Come and see. It is recorded in the Bible. He said, go and sleep close to the who? Continue. Mm -hmm. And Ruth replies. And Ruth replies. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I will do whatever you say. That is a, an That is a mother-in-law. Go, okay. Instruction. Mm -hmm. After Boaz has finished a good meal, okay. he lay down very consistently beside a heap of grain uh -huh. and went to sleep. Okay. Then Ruth came 
quietly and lifted the covering off his feet and lie there. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, around midnight. Around midnight. <laughs> Let's go. He woke in and set up. Mm -hmm. And sit up. Uh huh. And what happened? Sta startled. He was startled. He was surprised. Uh huh. There was a woman lying at his ah, feet. You were a rich man. Your room. You only have master key. Yeah. How come a maid who was on your farmland was able to enter your room in the night? And you woke up, a woman was there. You were surprised. Hey, where from this woman? Look, look at the power of, of, of spiritual oil or incense. Let's go. Who are you? Who are you? He demanded. He asked. <laughs> it's I. It is me. Say Ruth. Ruth. Uh -huh. She replied. Okay. <laughs> Make me your wife. Make I'm me. Ha! Hey, you, you see the stranger in your room. <laughs> and the stranger has the power to tell you that, marry me. Brother, is it a joke? You think if the woman had, the, the in-law had given her that direction to go and do spiritual bath, what? And to use spiritual perfumer, Ruth would have been able to tell his master that marry me. I said, repeat that place. He said, what? Yeah. She replied. She replied. He said, who are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He asked. It's I. It is me. He said, Ruth. Ruth. Uh -huh. She replied. Uh -huh. Make me your wife according to God's law. Abba, he said, make me your wife according. It's anointing or not from God. It's not a law God gave to Moses to make it. Yeah. Let's go. Uh -huh. For you are my close relative. Okay. Thank God for a girl like you. Ah, hey. This one is more than Juju. <laughs> this is the power of what? Uh, oil right. or perfume. He said, look at what the man is saying. As if the man has been tuned. Yeah. He said, thank God for a girl yeah. like who? Yes, uh huh. He exclaimed. He exclaimed, uh huh. For you are being even kinder to moi, Naomi now you, uh -huh. than before. See, I have even found favor or grace. I find you to be more kind than even your 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 mother, your in law. <laughs> ha! Hmm, you be there. <laughs> and the fake and class one pastors will tell you anointing oil is good. It's no good. Any pastor who tells you anointing oil is no good is a devil. Last time I, I was reading, I was teaching fake prophets. Didn't I teach you? Yeah, yeah. Go and let's end. Tomorrow I will continue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Naturally, mm -hmm. you did prefer a younger man. Uh huh. Even though poor, but you have put aside your personal desire so that you can give Naomi and her by marrying me. Okay. Now don't worry. Ah, about that. It's okay. Look at what the man is saying. He said, now don't do what? Worry. Let's go down somewhere and close. Tomorrow you continue. My child. My child. I will handle all the details. It's okay. Pastor, it's okay. And end there. Share. Sure. One anointing oil or perfume. See what it has been able to turn the heart and the mind of a rich man. <laughs> You'll be there. He said, by the anointing, every joke shall be what? Brother, you can never worship God and have success with that anointing. You need it. You need it. You need spiritual incense. You need spiritual bath. You need an anointing. I will be also teaching on the perfume. Do you get me? So viewers, brother, those on the platform, you are lucky to have me. I have prepared anointing oil. Each and every one needs it before you can move on in life. You will end here and we will continue tomorrow. Thank you.